Japanese Garden has just opened the first show of its 2023 season. It's no surprise that just like the garden, the plants are important in this unique glass art. Stephen Redlin has our story. Here. You come to our um, pavilion gallery, there's an immersive piece that you can walk inside. The wonder of it, the textures and the lighting act as beacons, drawing in visitors to the Portland Japanese Garden's first new exhibition of 2023. We really would love to bring artists from Japan or artists who have a connection to Japan to this garden. The show titled Subtle Intimacy Here and There features the Japan Institute's first ever artist in residence, Rui Sasaki. Yeah, beautiful. There's no other words to explain it. Rui chose several types of plants from the garden that inspired this unique original glass art she took to Portland's Bullseye Glass Company. She mostly used a process called kiln forming and that's where you put down a piece of glass then put a plant on top of that and then another piece of glass and it was superheated to the point where it just all melted together and the plant material would carbonize and kind of fuse into the glass. So it leaves an impression or memory, as she sometimes calls it, of the plant. For her, all the changes that happened, accidental or intentional, were a really important part of the story of helping her have that connection to the garden. These glass panels bond together plants from both Portland and the artist's home in Kanazawa, Japan. They're gorgeous. <laughs> it's hard to describe that they're both coming from like the earth and I mean, they're made entirely of like natural uh, minerals and stuff. It's just really breathtaking. Just beyond the budding cherry trees, more glass is placed in their own perfect places. A piece called amayadori, which means taking shelter from the rain. It's very thin pieces of glass that look like rain or shimmering beams of light. That piece was made in very close collaboration with the gardeners who actually helped hang the piece. The artist formed many shapes that explore the feeling of home, including a glass impression of a corner of her own home. And you can see like the, the texture of the mat in her house and the wall and little irregularities. Open now through June 12th, subtle intimacy here and there is a new garden experience that sparkles. And seeing some glass that might have sunshine on it or it might have raindrops on it, um, and that's all part of the experience. At the Portland Japanese Garden, I'm Stephen Redland, KGW News. All right, that's a beautiful exhibit, I'm sure, to see in person. The delicacy and really fragility of both art and nature. Pretty cool.